Melon is sponsoring me to teach you how to adjust your settings for HD, get your recordings just right, and work on custom settings like your ticker in their software. It allows you to stream and record without all this fancy gear I have here in my home studio. You can do it with a browser and with a regular computer yourself, all right? So how do you get into these settings I'm talking about? Go over here to the menu in the top right-hand corner within Melon. If you haven't already signed up, use my affiliate link below to get in here. So what you're gonna do is scroll down to the settings section to access the settings we're talking about today. Click that menu. Here you're going to see a number of important settings that you wanna look at. I believe that Full HD 1080p is a paid feature for pro users. You'll need to pay, I believe, to use that. But if you wanna enable Full HD 1080p for your output, you'll need to turn this on. Otherwise, you will be outputting in 720p, which is good, just not as good as 1080. If you flip on the recording button here, what it's going to do is allow you to save your recordings on the cloud here with Melon. Then you can download them and edit and upload them to YouTube or wherever you want, anytime you want. I recommend turning this on and recording everything that you broadcast just in case you want it for later. Then you can change your name here under the Participants tab. Uh, change it to whatever you want. And you can change out your stream avatar by uploading a transparent PNG or I sorry, I'm sorry, a square image of your choice. It doesn't have to be transparent. It can be a square image of your choice into the platform and then plugging it in there as your stream avatar. Now, what you can decide is a number of customized features on how the content is displayed during your broadcast here with all of these settings. For example, if you don't want everybody's names to show up on the screen, you can turn that off. So you notice how AWOL Digital is down there. If I turn that off, it just makes it go away. Easy. So you can turn that on and off. Audio status, you can turn that on and off, and it'll get rid of that little microphone icon. See it over there on the side of who's actively talking? You can get rid of that as well. TTS on join. So if you're wondering what this feature is, it announces via audio when somebody joins. So if you don't want that annoying announcement of, you know, participant has joined or whatever, you can turn that off. I recommend turning it off personally. That's just my preference. And then speaker indicator is something that you may want to consider. Uh, turning off as well. It shows you who the active speaker is. So if you have a ton of people on your call and you're confused about who's talking or not, okay, you can leave speaker indicator on to let everybody know who the active speaker is. Otherwise, I would recommend turning that off. And then here's a feature that I really like. This is a new feature uh, where you can put the name at the bottom rather than at the top. I know that doesn't seem major, but look, if the name's up top, I don't like it there. Personally, I recommend enabling this feature and putting the name at the bottom. People like reading text from the bottom left. Left, uh, of their, that's what they're used to seeing with lower thirds. Next, our ticker settings. In order to show you how the ticker settings work, let's go ahead and set up a ticker really quick. I did a previous tutorial video on this. I'm just gonna do just a just an example one here. So I'm just gonna type in uh, try melon today. You type in whatever you want into your ticker. Link below. Um, and once you set up your ticker, I'm gonna show you the custom settings for your ticker that are available. So we're gonna show our ticker on the screen and then check out the custom settings that are available here. Settings menu at the very bottom, look at this. You can reverse the direction of the ticker if you want. So click that button and it makes it go backwards. It makes it go the other way. So you can choose whether you want it to go left or whether you want it to go right by, by selecting this. And also there's a show on top button right here about whether you wanna show the ticker on the top or you wanna move it down to the bottom. So that is your preference on what you wanna do there. Personally, I recommend putting something like a ticker at the bottom. It is very aggressive to have a ticker, in my opinion, at the top of the screen. It really catches your eyes and is distracting. And personally, I recommend only putting a ticker on the screen while you're talking about whatever the ticker says. Don't just leave a ticker going your entire recording or stream. That will make your stream lower quality, in my personal opinion. Another recording setting that you're going to want to look at is go click on your avatar here and go to settings. It'll take you to this destinations menu. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go down to broadcast and recordings here on the side. Click that and this is where all of your recordings will be located. So we talked about what your output was earlier, how to do record like the recording settings from earlier. This is where all your recordings will go. All of your streams will be here for a 30 days if you have pro, 15 days if you have standard, 
and you can select a recent stream. So I did a test stream right here. You can literally pull down this menu, see all your streams, and it'll pull up the link to your stream so you can view the replay of your stream here. And this was just happened to be a YouTube replay, which is pretty cool. And then all of your recordings are available here. You can download the video version by clicking this. You can download the audio version by clicking this, or you can delete uh, the recording and you can choose which recording that you want to delete. Pretty cool. So let's say you were doing a podcast or you wanted to cut it into a podcast. You can take the content from your from your broadcast and make just an audio version of that straight from the dash, dashboard here in the recording and broadcast section. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy using Melon and use my link below to check it out. Adios.